Hello, everybody. Welcome and hello to Resident Evil 4 Remake. I'm very excited for this. I'd like to introduce my commentators. Uh, my name is Cat Link, first and foremost. I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, with me, I have Catastrophe, Marforia, and Fant. So when I go on to selecting standard, we're going to start. So in three, two, one, go. All right. So immediately, we're just going to skip through these cutscenes. And we're going to get straight on into it. So Resident Evil 4, as uh, all of my commentators have said, this game can be very ruthless, very brutal. <laughs> um, it doesn't really, uh, you know, it doesn't really baby you. It can throw a lot of punches. Uh, Ganados have RNG health. So that going into village, we'll see if we can get these quick kills as soon as possible. But... I absolutely adore Anyone this game hold? casually, but as a speedrun, it can be very mean. <laughs> We're just... I know. It, very, it definitely feels very Final Fantasy. I am usually a person who opts for the pinstripe suit. I absolutely love the pinstripe suit so much. Uh, I think Leon looks dashing, but I think he looks dashing in all his outfits. I get Shinigami vibes no from this way. costume, which is one reason I love it. Oh, I can definitely see that for sure. <laughs> it makes Classic. me think of uh, Don't Make Cry a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, reminds me of V a little v, bit. V, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, so a lot of the healing herbs that we would be picking up are going to be used for, like Fant said, uh, selling and not actually using. If I do need to use it, we do have uh, safety fasces or first aid sprays, if you will. We're going to pick up a few items here with the flash grenade as well as the handgun ammo and everything because we will be needing that. Uh, so into the village, we're going to need to kill 15 enemies. That will allow us to progress a lot faster. But first, before we do that, we're going to do a little chapter uh, reload here, a little retry. So this essentially resets the enemy Ganados in a certain way that makes it a little helpful. These feathers are definitely in my way. That's fine. She died. Okay, cool. That's one kill. And that's two kill. Oh my goodness. They are being very rude. That's okay. Yeah, as, we got as mentioned, they have varying health pools as well. So yes. it's really, really unpredictable at times. So unfortunately, I do have to use the herb here or the bass here. Yeah. So... We got it! Nice! Go. Nice. We got a little, we got a little snagged there, but we are gonna watch this cutscene real quickly. We essentially let this cutscene to roll out so we can get the, um... Well, unfortunately, we didn't get around that corner there, but it's fine. Uh, so essentially, that allows the in-game timer... Oh, we're just going to keep it going. I didn't realize how low <laughs> the ammo is. That is fine. Uh, usually, we would uh, break open that window a little early, so that way we don't have to worry about it later, but it's fine. Uh, because in the end, we're going to have to shoot it at some point. There it is. So immediately, we're going to go in here, and we're going to shoot a lock through a door. Because... Uh, doors are just merely an option, and locks are also merely an option. 
Yeah, I think it's only uh, two doors you're able to do this at, so uh, this is the first one you can do it at. Yep. All right, so is she going to be mean? Nope, she decides to be nice. We, we take those. We take those. So immediately we're going to get this going here because we have to open this gate. So normally we'd have to go through a different way into that room, but since we opened the lock, we don't have to worry about it all too much. We got the shotgun shells. Is there a buddy going to be coming through? Oh, he was a little late to the party. That's fine. We, we like when he's late to the party. So we just go right through that door. Sometimes he'll come crawling into the door and you're like, all right, I guess I'll shoot you in the head. Okay. <laughs> there's, Get you there's, out of the way. There's also this giant bull enemy who is actually your first uh, kind of intro into, oh my goodness, this game has a lot of scary dudes and they have a lot of help. Uh, he has a giant hammer, but he actually hasn't made his way to you. So that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, if you're fast enough, you shouldn't really show up too well. Uh, shouldn't show up at, at all. I actually, when I was practicing earlier, he did show up, and I was like, oh, that's nice. That's uh, he pleasant. Has, like, he has, like, this uh, whirlwind sort of attack with his hammer that goes super far, so it could definitely be a pain, so that's good he didn't show up for you. So coming up, we're going to be doing the Larry Skip. So Larry Skip is kind of a little thing where we have this guy where we call him Larry, but we're going to skip him. Hopefully that goes well for me here. Uh, let's find out. So essentially we're gonna use a tripwire bomb to go underneath of it and basically pop out of bounds. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, it's fine. Oh, yeah. ah. Did not get it. That's fine. It's actually faster if you reload uh, and do it again. <laughs> as much as it seems like, oh, you're reloading and you're not just continuing. I am just absolutely not having a good time. I'm a little nervous. It's fine. You got You're this. You're doing okay. great. Again, it's still faster to do it a couple of times. Yeah, there's just a ton of Ganado in your way yeah. on top of the, the one guy, uh, but that's okay. It's fine. It, it is what it is. It is a little tricky to get because there is a bit of a positioning you need to do for it, but unfortunately, you do need to deal with a few of these boys. So, uh, you know what? We get to say hi to Larry, which we he doesn't get a lot of love anymore. So, you know what? We're going to give him some love. Yeah, we just have to go through this load-bearing bookshelf here. Yep. We're going to say hi to Larry. Hi, there Larry. he is. Oh, my God. Hi, Larry. Oh, yes. ah. Be nice, just going to sit here and watch you do your work. And it's like, yeah, oh, it's just, so it's that's just... how you remove boards. Oh, Wonderful. so that's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help, Larry. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Larry's Thanks, rooting buddy. for us. GG's. Like, go faster. GG's. Nice. All right, so off into chapter two. So chapter one is uh, probably the most reset-heavy section of the game. Shit. Just because gear. of that opening village section. And that's fine. So now chapter two, we have to deal with a new nuisance which is Red Mist Valley. Uh, Red Mist Valley has a lot of Ganados that love to throw pipe bombs. They all so much love it. And since we used the first aid spray in the first chapter, so that it's gonna be a little interesting. We're also a little low health, but that's fine. We'll get through it, we'll manage. What's good is that there's a Faz there at the end, uh, towards the end of Red Mist Valley there, so she'll definitely have another safety coming up. Yeah. All right. So they're going to ignore us completely here, and while we're doing this, we can actually have a little space for some donations. Nicole, if you wouldn't mind. Absolutely. I have a $100 donation from Evan RV. Here to support Catlink. Good luck on the run. Hope you see Koopa. Thank you so much for your donation. We are at $1,015 out of $2,000 to pet that dog. I have a $25 donation from Balam Soldier. What's this? An incentive to pet a dog? Please take my money and give the good boy all the pets. Less than 30. Thank you so, so much for your donation. I have $25 from ICE. There is no comment, but thank you again for that donation. And as a reminder, if you would like to see Koopa get all the pets, when you donate, make sure to select the Pet the Dog incentive. I'm not Here we are yet. heading up to the Red Mist Valley. These Kodados are being very rude, unfortunate. So that's just going to do a reload here in order to uh, get some health back. I'm actually going to do the reload up here. There is a, okay. so when you're in low health and if you reload a checkpoint, the game will actually heal you. 
Oh, it doesn't. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So usually it does. Uh, you can get the RNG crate, maybe. Um, yeah. The game has a silly critical HP. Uh, you're going to be moving just a little bit slower, but can uh, still safely get through this section. Uh, it definitely is a little bit spooky. It's just gonna... all these guys. Oh, oh what? <laughs> Very unfortunate. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, no. So. That's it's okay. Fine. This gets a little scary. Uh, not what I want. The so when the game, go ahead. <laughs> so when you have a lot of health, oh, I'm a little worried here. You got I this. I cannot believe you made it. What are you doing? With? Yeah, I had a feeling. It, if it wasn't that, it was gonna be the dynamite there. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> this animation is so long. Oh, you hate to see it. Mm -hmm. It's the all good. Yeah, the game has a silly thing. If you have health in your inventory, because uh, again, we have the green, red, and yellow that we absolutely need to sell later, uh, the game will be like, oh, you have health. We don't need to give you some. So it could, it, you know, you could st still get those RNG drops, but it's, uh, it, you know, it's a low chance, but it's okay. We believe in Kat for sure. She's got this. Yeah, it's just a little unfortunate with the low health here. Um, so this area, you really don't want to be in low health. It's just kind of, I have no choice because Oh, that's fun. Ooh. Ooh. It's all good. Yeah. At this point, really, all Cat can do is try to push through it. Uh, Red Mist Valley is brutal, even when you're, you know, in better situations health place. Yeah, and they're being extra mean today, sadly. <laughs> Usually this area is not too, too rough. Uh, it's just kind of the way she goes with this game. And when you're low health, again, there's not a whole... Oh, he missed me. Whoa, nice. <laughs> go, go, go. Okay. We okay, we're, theoretically we're, we're should be good. We're near the faz. Yeah. Uh, Close to the, the faz. We got it. Just below this. Yeah, the faz is down in the cabin below, I think. Yes. Come on, porch. It's our little safety net. Okay. She just didn't decide to go through. Give me that fast right now. Woo! Oh, get me out of nice. here. We're back in it. <laughs> Very good. GG's And, and granny behaves, so always good. That's yeah. great. Red Mist Valley for you right there. Mm -hmm. I think okay. a good thing to mention at this time. Everybody um, is just since not you may have noticed. <laughs> yeah, you may have noticed the second time through there, like the enemies were in different spots. There, was a, there wasn't a guy on the little hill there. Uh, this game has a difficulty adjustment based off of, you know, taking damage, what's in your inventory, um, if you had to reload or die at any point. And the game kind of um, just tries to make it easier or harder. So the, the worse you do, the easier it will get, the better you do, the harder it will get. And in this category, there's not too much manipulation of it, but there is one thing you're going to be seeing a little bit later where we'll intentionally take some damage in order to lower the difficulty level, essentially, for a quicker boss kill. All right, so hopefully... I've had some bad luck with uh, Salvador up here. It'll be fine, I believe. Okay, we're good. So he can be not nice. Hello? There you go. He can be a little mean. Uh, that's fine, because sometimes he'll he'll snag you right as you think you're about to get out, and it's just like, oh no, I don't really feel like uh, letting you leave today, Leon. You get to uh, you get to, I guess, uh, unfortunately, rego. <laughs> <laughs> So not too much going on here the rest of the chapter, other than the oh, that was puzzle, like, putting a ball in the Best uh, RNG for that puzzle. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Very good RNG. That was actually literally the best RNG. Hello. So we're just going to unlock that door while that Ganado tries to come at us here. Grab that herb. There you go. Well Get done. There. And now we have our extra ammo there we picked it up and we're good we're out of there chapter two was 
very mean. Uh, chapter <laughs> two is often very mean to a lot of us. Uh, it's also, uh, again, another reset heavy point. <laughs> I'm going to say that a lot for this run, I think. Uh, now, I do have a little thing coming up here that I like to do for everybody for chat. Is save the dog. Uh, that doesn't do anything. If you shoot the lock off, uh, if you shoot the trap instead of manually saving the dog there, um, the dog or Huey won't actually show up in the El Giate fight later. So it saves, it's, it, it loses time obviously because you're saving the dog. But you know what? For marathon's sake, I always save the dog. We always save Huey. We love Huey, right? Yeah, even <laughs> in my normal runs. Yeah. <laughs> even in my normal runs, I have to save him, so that's fine. What? That's fair. I, I totally understand. Oh. He did not want to stagger. That's fine. He was I, zooming. <laughs> he was he was on a mission. That's okay. We're good. I'm gonna pick up a um, safety egg. I have something. Oh, I like to call it a safety like. egg. Um, <laughs> yes, we need egg. First, we're gonna grab this, and uh, we're also going to do some side missions. So, side missions in this give us spinels. So, we're gonna be using those for essentially getting more treasures that we'll need to it. buy extra stuff. Safety egg. Eggs are for health, and you can also throw them. Yes. <laughs> we don't actually throw eggs anymore in this run. That's uh, true. Y'all y'all changed it. Got optimized more. A little bit, yeah. So while we're running through here, uh, now would be a you know, pretty good time for some donations. Amazing. I have $5 from It's Me, Hawkeye G. Ashley, do you know Shinigami Leon loves apples? Thank you very much. I have $40 from Dolphin Chucks. Where's Leon going when he has to get there in under two hours and 10 minutes? Bingo. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. I have $15 from Sweet Peeps. It says, my pup's cookie and cupcake demanded I donate to get them some pets. I patiently explained to them this money was for video game dogs getting pets and they can get all the pets and pets and hugs and all the kisses they want for free. They told me to donate anyways. So here's $15 benefiting education for girls around the world. But wait. It's not video game dogs. It's a real dog. We are at $1,070 out of 2,000. We are only $930 away from seeing a real life dog get pet. We are only $641 away from hitting $20,000 and $2,641 from hitting the bonus game, Fear, coming up next, which would be amazing because that means more GDQ. So get your donations in, select the pet the dog incentive so we can see Koopa get pets. Yes, my, uh, my puppy Koopa. My little baby boy. Uh, he is real, I promise you. I he love is, him very much. He is a corgi poodle mix. You'll love him, chat. I promise you, you definitely want to give him lots of pets. I need to scratch my face so badly right now. Oh my goodness. Here we go. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I need a door opening something, please. All right, right, we so play store. Yeah. Well placed, uh, scratch your face door. Um, so now we're going up to the fish farm. So fish farm, same same deal as um, same deal as Red Mist Valley, but a little bit nicer. Okay, we're gonna shoot that uh, nest up there first because it does have shotgun ammo, and we do need that. Hello, bull boy. Yeah, a lot of the drops are random, but there are several fixed points in here like this is always a grenade that oh. is always rifle ammo in there and hello bull boy oh that we Ooh. got lucky oh wow that could we have got been nasty very yeah. lucky we got body blocked <laughs> a little bit there and i got a little concerned i was just like is he gonna do what i think he's gonna do that, that was all skill there. Ooh. and he's gonna blow himself up i think maybe we'll see yeah that no. grenade that um rifle ammo is guaranteed uh, there's an egg in here, if Cat really wants it, right there, that is also guaranteed. But a lot of times when you're searching for barrels, this will come into more and play later, the, the drops are random and kind of weighted based off of what is in your inventory. Yes. All right. So we're going to do a little quick drop here. Oh. 
We didn't get the, the full roll there, but you know what? That works too. We accept it. <laughs> as long as you drop all the way to the bottom here, it's fine. Hello, everybody. Hello. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Thank you. Thank you kindly. So I forgot to explain. Uh, you probably see a little bit of information on the top left corner of my screen, uh, of the game screen, that is. That is essentially to allow me to know how many uh, how many kills I've gotten and how much uh, of my DA difficulty adjustment. So we're going to do uh, a little bit of DA minip up here. I love this so much. And before we do that, I'm going to switch to 30. And I'm going to basically blow myself up a little bit here <laughs> with a grenade. <laughs> Blow myself up a little bit. Like, that's definitely a phrase. This <laughs> Just a little bit. So I don't really take any damage there, which is nice. I think I take a little bit of damage, but it's like... Oh, no. No, no, no. That's not 120. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the height of the waves on this boss are frame rate dependent, which is very silly. So the waves are much more manageable at lower FPS, but... Kat's going to be doing some quick throws in here to try and one cycle Del Lago. And yeah, you don't. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Uh, if you're Ooh. noticing uh, when Cat throws the spears, she actually lets go of the button real quick before throwing again. This allows Cat to throw uh, slightly quicker than normal. Hoping for that one cycle. Yeah. We should be fine. Uh, I missed a few shots. Uh, if I get into second phase, it's fine for the most part. Not really. <laughs> we're actually going to retry if it gets into second phase. But yeah. we're, we have some extra shots here that we can make to do some extra damage. There you go. Nice. That's fine. As long as he doesn't get into second phase, we're, we're chilling. Yeah. <laughs> if, Second phase to explain uh, is basically a more chaotic version of the first phase, except for he heals for about 70% of his health. So him going into second phase is uh, very not ideal, if you could imagine. Uh, he goes all over, he jumps more, he, he's very sporadic, he dives, and it's just very much not a good time. So thankfully we got the first phase on that one. We picked up that red herb again to do some uh, selling for later on. All right, get a little, you guys see a little, uh, little plagas here. Ooh, excuse me, sir. Well, swinging and swinging. Now that it's dark, they like to come out more, the plagas. Yeah. <laughs> they, they like to say hello. They don't like uh, daylight. It's actually part of the lore. They, um, will instantly die, and that's why we use flashes and other things like that to our advantage, obviously. Yeah. Some kind of exactly. Um, We have a little bit of time here because we are going to be taking a boat all the way to some islands to pick up some heads here. So, with that being said, Nicole, take the yes. reins. Okay, I can do that. I have $25 from King Raggles that says, okay, I think I understand. We're donating to get a dog real video game pets. That's so cool. And I get to donate to Malala Fun. Win-win. Thank you so much for your donation. So yeah, you know what? It's something like that. I have a $20 donation from Kronik, my first time donating for any GDQ event. I had to donate during Cat's Run because she's the best. Good luck, future runners. Thank you so much. I have $50 from Einfach David. I stayed, I stayed up extra to see this run from Cat. Greetings from Germany. It's 3.45 in the morning. Lots of love to GDQ, the runners, and the chat. Thank you so much. We are at $1,190 out of $2,000 to pet Koopa. We are only $810 away. Chat, we need to pet that dog. Yeah, we do. So, we're, we now got the Lunker Fish. We'll where we will be using, uh, we'll be using that to get more spinel, which we will use to get treasures. Um, so th that's the only two, there's only two side missions that we really do throughout this game, uh, which is the, uh, the graves and the lunker fish. So we're gonna go over and get the final head here, uh, which is a little bit tricky, because again, we have some very spicy ganados to say hello here. 
So let's go say our hellos. So they have all sorts of tricks in their bag here. So they got they got the fire sticks. They got the pipe bombs. They got the axes. They that hit. They got the attitude. Whoa. <laughs> They have the audacity. They do have the audacity. I have never been hit there a damn day in my life. And my it went through like goodness. the stalagmite, stalactite. They, that's what I, I usually yeah. use that. I usually use that to like block that. Okay. Sorry if I got that wrong, chat. I always forget which one's the stalactite, stalagmite. <laughs> All right, that's, you know, that's fine. What's funny is if you get in a bind, so any of those Ganado that are holding dynamite pipe bombs, you can still shoot them when they're not lit and they will blow up. So uh, in case they happen to be extra mean or if there's anyone uh, around you, you can kind of use that for safety. Oh, oh my goodness. We are having a time. That's okay. We got a safety egg here. They are being extra mean today. I think it's because they know they're on frame Patels right now. I swear this game, it knows when you're streaming. It knows, it knows when you have an audience. It just knows. So it likes to put on an extra show for y'all. But now so, we have yeah. all that. It's part of the difficulty adjustment. <laughs> yep, it's, we're, taking, uh, we're taking DA hits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now that we have both of the heads, we can go put them into the shrine here. Same mark from the church. Is this the key? key? Is this the key? <laughs> All right. Now we got our. Now we got our key here, our little emblem key or what have it. And we're gonna go put that into the church, so now we can enter it. Which is a little interesting how how that differs from the original. All right. So El Giante, I am. Uh, very interested to see how this is going to go. Uh, Giante has a few little things that he likes to have in his sleep, but we basically, he's a pretty straightforward boss fight. But before we do that, we're actually going to place our little things here and make our red, yellow, and green herbs. Took care of Welcome. There you go. Good stuff, stranger. We're going to trade for this mask here. Yeah, when you see folks run this game, uh, menuing here is huge part, well, just with any Resident Evil game, menuing is a huge part of these runs. Uh, you know, a lot of buying, a lot of selling, at least uh, you know, for this game, and you gotta do these super quick. So, um, yeah, it's pretty impressive how uh, quick you get in and out of those menus. Oh, I forgot to tune. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, knew, I was like, I know I'm forgetting something. I was just like, I know I'm forgetting something. That's okay. <laughs> Good thing I noticed now and not at the fight. Uh, really funny because I was like, I was reloading. I'm like, wait a second. I only have five shots here. That's not what we want. All right. So now we have our scope attached to our sniper. And we can now go say hi to El Giante. So I'm just going to be doing a bunch of headshots, which I missed the first one. Wow, I'm having a time right now. I swear I practice this. <laughs> it's always one of those things where you, you can practice this game a million times and things just for some reason just don't want to. There is a little thing that runners do in this game called pause buffering. You got work too? Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to take a little bit of a So basically, uh, we want each of those shots to hit uh, the tendril out of his back to... And um, the tendril yeah. just does not want to cooperate today. That's fine. Like I said, this boss fight is pretty straightforward. However, it does have... Uh, what is he doing? What is he doing? He, he big charging. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was about to charge me. So if that happens, it's just he's going to come at you at full force, and that's not what you want. It's almost like uh, when you get 
into the sniper shots and hitting the Plaga on his back, uh, you have to you have to keep hitting him because if you fall out of sync, it kind of messes up the the, the momentum of the fight. So it's very important to just keep hitting them. Uh, you really can't afford to miss. Yeah, and when he immediately goes into that uh, second scream there, you know that you got it there. Yeah. And that's why uh, it kind of sucks to have him do that. Oh my god. He is just being absolutely well, He's a junkie rude. boy. <laughs> he just wants to show the audience his skills, but it's okay. We get, uh, Leon gets to show uh, more of the skills. There we go. That was, uh, he was being very mean there. Yeah. Well, the cabin's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I don't know okay. what happened there, but it's fine. You know what? Bless those safety eggs. I'm gonna coin that. I'm gonna, I'm, you coined that, so I'm gonna use that from now on when I eat breakfast. I'm like, you know what? I'm consuming my safety eggs this morning. It gives me my extra energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I grabbed that extra safety egg, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, that was unfortunate. But as the way she goes with Resident Evil 4 Remake, uh, the runs can be a little topsy-turvy, unfortunately. Hopefully the later levels go well. All right. Hello, dog. We do not want to pet this dog, by the way. No, we do not want to pet that dog at all. Petting that dog will lead to uh, not great things. So we just leave that dog go alone. Yeah, the dogs have plug us too, and that's not very nice. So we're going to let it be. All right, so now we're going to be picking up Ashley. Ashley and we're Graham. going to be saying our little hellos to I'm Ashley here. To here. First, we got to do a little puzzle. So this is going to unlock a uh, little thing here. Hold on. There you go. This puzzle is essentially the same type of puzzle as in the original, but much more complex. Um, you can rotate it freely rather than just one, two, three times, and there we go. That was quick. Nice. nice. Yeah, the solution the, the, and the rotations are the same each time. Yeah, so I usually look at the top point of the uh, Illuminata sim symbol. Uh, so that usually is where I look to Ashley. see where I'm going and there? if I'm doing it correctly. All right, so now we get Ashley. Ooh. So we got Ashley, but we're going to promptly leave her. We're gonna keep her safe in the church, I promise you. She'll be fine. She got her blue hair right. with her orange outfit. Yeah, that's the first I've seen that. <laughs> it's, it's quite a look. But you know what? Blue and orange are complementary colors. So uh, chat, I think y'all planned this. <laughs> exactly, there you go. So we're gonna be going up here. Oh, no, Leon. We're gonna be going up here. Thank you, Leon. What do we do? There's no way out. And we're going to just drop down. And uh, there we go. That's a, basically an out of bounds. So now we can just leave Ashley behind uh, while we go through this section here. So this section is not too bad. It's pretty smooth sailing as for the most part. We're going to do an early shot there to allow that to for a lot, basically to debate him, I guess you could say, into throwing that early so we don't get uh, some fire on us because Leon kind of goes through a momentary uh, animation where he just flails about. We're also going to pick up this bass here so that way I can use it possibly in cabin if cabin goes correctly. I freaking hope so. <laughs> And trust so the me, next... right the Sorry, Mark, go ahead. Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, trust me, uh, it is um, it is actually really great you don't have Ashley here because on uh, NMG, it is uh, such a pain to have to escort her through here. So I'm jealous of the any percent folks who uh, can do this. <laughs> go ahead, Kat. I was literally just about to say the same. Um, <laughs> carrying Ashley through the rest of this chapter is an absolute pain because not only can she get hit, uh, she also will scream if she gets grabbed. Uh, if you run too far away from her, because obviously you're, you know, you're speed running, she sometimes gets left behind, and then that can trigger the the kidnapped animation. So it's just a pain, and uh, we're very lucky to not have to deal with her because she's safe in the church right now. Exactly. So. I reset, uh, re I did a retry there simply to 
basically make these guys AFK. Uh, if you don't, they will try to grab you, punch you, all that stuff. It's very unfortunate when it happens. He might try. Oh no, he's AFK too. All right, you know we take those. He was, he was just staring. staring. He was just like, "Hey, what are you doing here? You're new." <laughs> nice outfit. Uh, all right, so we're gonna have to make some extra sniper ammo. That is fine. All right, so cabin. I have to make sure to close all of these doors, but I'm gonna have to wait for these buddies to get here. Yeah. Shut up, we'd be good to go. We got 10 kills, very good. So basically, we want to make sure we get a good amount of kills here. And we're also going to want to let these guys come in. So they have, they have boards, and we need them. I'm going to point at Luis a little bit here to stop him from shooting, because he can shoot them out of the window. Yeah, and uh, if he does that, then, uh, you know, we can't pick up the boards. But hey, you got the two boards there right away, so that's really good. Oh, just in time, too, apparently. Mm -hmm. So, hang on ammo. That's not what I want, but it's what we'll get, I guess. Uh, I want sniper ammo specifically here, if I can. Sometimes the game is nice. Again, it's RNG on what you'll get. Handgun ammo. Sniper ammo. There's no one up here, surprisingly. Hey, don't you might need some company. Yeah, essentially we'll be killing uh, just a handful of enemies here until our bull boy spawns downstairs because uh, the cabin will end uh, when we kill bull boy. And uh, any of the ganados that we kill, we do want to make sure they are 100% dead because uh, those plug the plugas can uh, come out of their head and that makes things super annoying for this part. So it's looking good so far here. I'm going to actually use this shotgun shell. So that should spawn a bull boy. Yeah, there he is. And he always comes out of the same window too, so it's uh, really nice that you can uh, already start prepping your shots here. Yeah, very nice to set up. And uh, as said, if you just zone him down, uh, the, the encounter ends, so you don't have to worry about any of the other enemies. Ooh, this way, Ooh, nice. Good job. She looks nice. great. All right, so Cabin went surprisingly very well. It can go south very quickly, uh, which is obviously not what you want when that sort of thing, you know, with cabin and how it is. You don't want it to go south. You want to close those windows up real quick and you want to get the five kills. I was actually very surprised that no Ganados were upstairs pretty early. Usually there's a few of them, but thankfully there were none. Uh, that's not a bad thing. That's a pretty good thing. Uh, mostly because it allows for space to get the shots in and you don't get owned completely uh, immediately. <laughs> so... All right. Now we have Ashley. So we're going to let her get grabbed here, and that's fine. If she gets grabbed, it's okay. I'm going to tell her to wait real quick. I'm going to grab that. I am not having a good time with this. Okay, that's fine. She got grabbed. That's okay. So we purposely want to let her get grabbed there. Uh, and the reason being is that when we reach a checkpoint, hopefully she doesn't get dragged away here. When we reach a checkpoint, it will actually drop her. Um, so there you go. She's, she's perfectly fine now. She might get grabbed again, which is usually the case. Uh, if she doesn't, there she there we go. She will get grabbed again, but that's okay because we're going to be doing an out of bounds here coming up to essentially get out and around the Chainsaw Sisters. So the Chainsaw Sisters are notorious for being very brutal, uh, where you would have to get a crank from one of the Chainsaw Sisters. Uh, but with this out of bounds, we completely skip this. Chapter six is a lot of skips. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, Bella Sisters can be super ruthless here. Uh, Especially because um, in NMG, we only kill one. So when you grab that crank, you go to the crank, there's some Ganado around you, and then you have to deal, you have to make sure uh, that second sister doesn't kill you. So uh, really nice, you can go out of bounds here. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, so she's 
just trying to make sure I line up because you can fall out of bounds here and into the void and basically when that happens you just get stuck uh, and you'll have to reload the checkpoint but it's fine because usually the checkpoint is like right where you started off with the out of bounds so it's perfectly okay also say hi to the chainsaw sisters hello ladies <laughs> hi ladies <laughs> ma'am <laughs> yeah they will say hi and they will uh they will not do anything though it seemed like they were trying to go uh where they were supposed to go but uh <laughs> uh i need to get rid of you and get you there you go i do not want small resources they just take up inventory space and we don't want that all right, so the Mendez Chase. So Mendez Chase is very simple. Every enemy here is one HP or two HP sometimes. That's okay. We should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. Gonna blow up these guys here. Dodge that. Yeah, sometimes they do take two hits and then they do that. It's very brutal when that happens. Oh, that's also, oh, where are we? Ashley, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. It's time to go. Don't trip, please. <laughs> All right, so that was kind of unfortunate. They were usually one hit, um, but that's fine. I love how one gave you a kitchen knife. <laughs> it's usually when your knife is low, we will do that. All right. So we're going to sell, sell, sell. Um, one there, sell that. And then we're going to buy a case upgrade and a flash grenade. And just hop out of bounds. So basically we use the merchant to allow us to back into the wall. I, I, again, I, I don't know how exactly it works. It just does. <laughs> It's very weird how that works, um, but yeah, essentially that's the not checkpoint version of that. Uh, anyways, hi Mendez. Hi Mendez. Hi Mendez. <laughs> He's having a nice ocean view over there. <laughs> Contemplating life. Yeah, we do leave Ashley again, but when we get to this cutscene, there she is. And, and that's back. the end of the chapter. Yep, nice. that's the end nice of chapter done. six. Chapter Wonderful. six is pretty nice it's for the most part pretty smooth sailing uh as long as you get the glitches and, and the skips they're really nice all right so we're gonna go pick guys, up the new sniper you guys see those purple lanterns near the merchant they it's believed that they are used to ward off the plagas and the ganados so he kind of uses them to defend himself and cloak himself so he can move around freely I love that. Thanks. All right. So now, chapter seven. Oh, chapter seven. We're actually really good on ammo right now, which is very nice. Oh, that. Oh, yummy. Oh, dear. <laughs> that never happens. Yeah. So oh, chapter seven. Oh, chapter seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there are three different types of Plagas. So the ones that we saw earlier, they just have like these long tendrils with razors. These ones, uh, the second types of Plagas, they uh, are very scary. They got big mouths and they will do a one hit kill there like we saw. And then the third phase yeah. ones are just uh, really weird spider ones. And we won't see those until later. And we actually don't see many of them. But yeah, those guys can be very mean. That was a first. Okay. That, that that usually never happens, but uh, as the way she goes with RE7, uh, RE7, RE4 remake. All right, I, I do speedrun RE7, so you Chapter know. Chapter 7, RE7, on the brain. Yep. <laughs> Got it a little bit on the... All right, I'm back the... for the best part of the run. Let's go, Chapter 7, baby. Hey, you just missed me uh, dying to the crouch plug us. I guess this is the right <laughs> Unfortunate, but it, it is what it is. I don't know if Ashley is with us. She is not. It's fine. We should be okay to get this. So they did grab her, which can be really bad. But we have a checkpoint here, so we're going to get them to drop her. So here's another example of what we've talked about so far, where you basically reload the checkpoint and you reset Ashley and 
some of the locations of the enemies, I believe. Yeah. So I'm not taking chances here. The parries. And a little flashbang right there will release Ashley. How convenient. How convenient indeed. So that's, uh, that allows us to basically, like, once they drop her, we can just freely go into this room and get to the next cutscene, and they shouldn't bother her. There has been a chance where they, they do grab her sometimes, which is very unfortunate when it happens, but we're good. Oh, right. uh, yeah. And this is where we see the that. other use of the sniper scope. So you saw it in Chapter 6. To go out of bounds. You could also go through doors with a scoped in rifle aiming at the floor, backing up to be a little bit out of bounds, and then spinning 180 degrees, interacting with the door, and you're on the other side. Look at that. Well done. Very nice. And Ashley is perfectly fine, thank goodness. Sometimes she can get grabbed there, and if she does get grabbed there, you do have to make a save instead because uh, if you reach a checkpoint, it will basically instantly get rid of her essentially it will, they'll take her away and you'll have to retry again all right so water hall everybody's infamous <laughs> the, the infamous water <laughs> hall that everybody so oh so loves oh he let me pass by that's very nice of him so we're actually going to use this here and we're going to use a flash there to blind everybody here so that way we can get to this little Frank here. Can I ask? Sure. I was going to say, could I ask Catastrophe a question? Go ahead. Um, so why is the water black in here? Because in the OG, it was just regular colored water. Watch out! Uh, it is believed that the water in here was used for various ceremonies related to the Plaga. Like, uh, I personally believe, for example, that people who were uninfected had to drink it and they likely used it as like an infection source um, but there's some other interesting fan theories out there. There's nothing really like canon established per se. Oh, interesting. Put me down! Anyways, carry on Waterhall. <laughs> <laughs> it's more aside, very, yeah. yeah. It's being very Pretty mean right that. now. It's Ashley. being very oh. mean right now. What is that? Oh. Okay. The flaily pagas. That's yeah. unfortunate. Uh, it is what it is. Where she goes. Yeah, this is another. I would say this is potentially the most infamous room or section in the speedrun. Because my goodness, there's so many enemies. They could all kind of do whatever they want, and sometimes the game will just give it to you. Like, all right, nobody's by the wheels. We could just go through and just spin it, and yeah, everybody's just. Uh, you know, I don't know what they're doing. They're just like playing bingo somewhere. And other times they could just crowd the wheels and be so rude. Yeah, yeah. very good reactions on avoiding getting hit there. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, the it's not even the same way going through. That guy's gonna try and own me there. I'm not gonna trust that. All right. Nice. This, this is looking good here. Yeah, this is ideally what you do want. Except for... Nice juke. I saw that coming from a mile away. I was just like, <laughs> ain't, yeah, ain't no way. No, no, no. <laughs> so as you can see, it's just, it's so varying on what you can get on this section. Um, so we're actually going to reload a checkpoint here. And that way, the enemies here just completely ignore you. They're reset back to where they were. So there's a little thing that could happen here, and we'll see if it does. Okay. It's very rare if it does, but it does happen. Oh, we do! We did get it. So Yo, as you can see uh, right nice. now, uh, the the they're they're just chilling. Um, this is exactly ideally what you do want for this room. Nobody knows what causes it, at least not to my knowledge. Um, but you just kind of sit here and play target practice. Um, because they just won't move. It, I don't know, it just bugs them out, and they just kind of sit there. Be careful. Oh, I'm dead. glad the game finally threw you a bone. <laughs> I know, this game has been very rude today. Shot. Leon, 
Yeah, it's very important to make sure um, Ashley does oh. not get oh, interrupted they at all. Yeah, as you're trying to do this section, there are a couple uh, there are a couple zealots that run up to you to to prevent you from um, you know killing their friends. Uh oh, this is uh, not good. So. Generally, when this happens, they stay still, but they're not doing that right now, so that's a little concerning. Uh, for that reason, I'm actually going to shoot him, just so we don't have to redo this whole room. We get some herbs, that's fine. We essentially just want to make sure that they don't grab her here. Um, and don't own me at the, in the process. I can't. Good job. Oh. I don't, don't I die. <laughs> no. Man, this game is being so mean. <laughs> yeah, th this is Resident Evil Four in a nutshell here. This can happen to anybody. I was like super excited because I was like, oh, they're pausing. Okay, that's good. Because usually sometimes, like if they pause, they just don't do anything. But okay. then it gets a little disorienting when they pause, but also Are start they moving again? again. Yes, kind of. Yes and no. Oh, half of them? <laughs> it's a little disorienting when they do this because, as you can see, it throws off what you're supposed to do. It just becomes random on how you're supposed to deal with the room all of a sudden. You're just like, well, they weren't moving, but now they are moving, but they weren't moving. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Okay. They're, 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 okay. Uh, looking good. Think, yeah. This is a really unfortunate run. <laughs> how about we get some donations going? We got, we need it. We have a dog to pet. We have a dog to pet. I have $25 from Anonymous that says, love watching you speed around all these great Resident Evil games. Cat Link, pet that dog. We are at $1,570 out of $2,000, putting us at only $430 away from petting Koopa. We are also only $2,141 away from unlocking our bonus game, Fear. I have a $25 donation from Shadow and Cygnus that says, $25 to see the bestest dog with the most adorably judgmental side eye in all of Twitch. Let's go, cat. Pet that dog. Thank you so, so much for your donation. I also have $20 from the knight who goes knee. Pet that dog. I agree. Bitch, let's pet that dog. Let's pet that dog. So... Pet that dog. Pet that dog. Pet that dog. Pet that dog. Okay. Pet that dog. This game is uh, very rude today. Can I say all right, cat. We get a break in chapter eight, right? Nah. I was gonna say, uh, I really admire uh, your ability to think on your feet, though, because this game can just throw so many random, uh, just so many random things at you. So, uh, you know, just good job all around so far. I know, I know you're hard on yourself, but trust me, you're doing, you're doing great. Yeah, this uh, this game can definitely lead you into disparage mode very quickly. Uh, it's it's a little it's a little upsetting when the game just doesn't have the consistency that you probably strive for. Uh, like you can be as consistent as you possibly want, but the game will still just absolutely not let you win sometimes. Okay. Chapter Come eight. up here. Cat's gonna shoot that nest and get the scratched emerald. That's another That's, trade oh yeah, quest I for, item. I always forget about that one. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it also sells for money, about. and you get and you get um, some trade rewards as well, which is part of the money route. Chapter eight has a couple parts. This first one is super super fun because there's one of these big red cultist guys that can stun you. Yeah, just like that. But there's barrels all over the place. Cat's just gonna make it look easy going through all this. Oh, we got good RNG, Cat. Let's go. You didn't you run. You went where you needed to be. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he could just be a runner and go away, but he was very nice and went to the high explosives. Very Take care of him. Does so much damage, yeah. But it's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so that room, this room here can be pretty notorious for being rude as well, as every other room is in this game. I keep <laughs> saying that, but it's true. <laughs> this is a remake for you, folks. Uh, but that went actually really, really well. Uh, 
the red zealot dude there, he can run. And when he runs, it's like, well, I guess I'll chase you around the arena for a little while. Uh, but thankfully he played nice there. Very nice. Uh, we got a little bit of a lull here um, going through, but coming up, we're going to see a lot of really, really cool stuff in chapter eight. The cat's going to be doing some puzzles and, you know, walking through some pretty straightforward sections if uh, you had anything else you'd want to say, Nicole. Absolutely. Uh, just to give an update, we are only $400 away from petting the pup. <gasps> Let's go. I know. Let's go. I have a $20 donation from TWD Industries. It says, add those incentives. Pet that dog. Thank you so much for your donation. $25 from Anonymous. Pet that dog. Thank you. I agree. $25 from Countess425. Poopa beats pets. Thank you so, so much. I agree with each and every one of you. I have $25 from Pyro Cheesecake. Pet that dog. Pet that dog. Pet that dog. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your donation. And I have a... $50 $50 donation from Sanjan that says, Hi. Hello. Hi, Sanjan. Hi. <laughs> and I have $5 from an ocean pearl. Please. Poopa. Thank you so much for that donation. Yeah, perfect timing, because here, here's our new enemy introduced in Chapter 8. The Plagas jumping on the back of a, of a cultist. And this is where the fun begins. It's the ramparts. So I'm going to have my shotgun at the ready here because these guys can be very rude and not let me through. These are essentially adult plagas that have lost their host, so they're rushing to look for a new one. And yeah, these guys are an absolute pain to deal with. This game is doing a lot of things, but never happens to me normally. And I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, that's new. Going for a very careful shot through this to sequence break and Ooh, open this from the wrong side. Woo! Ooh, spicy getting in there. Uh, something similar is going to be done in this next room if uh, the enemies cooperate. The cat will take a grenade, throw it through this tiny slit in the wall there right go. there. And with any luck, so it should. It, well, it got an unlucky bounce. Of those yeah, that buttons. happens. The. Uh... Oh, yeah, that throw arc can be really mean. <laughs> Yeah, Very so nice. if that happens, I usually go for a backup, which is in that corner there. We utilize two of our grenades, which is kind of unfortunate, but as long as we have some extra for the rest of castle, we are fine. And now uh, Kat is in the whole W section uh, because there is a El Gigante chucking things this way. And if you just run all the way through, you don't have to worry about it. Now, during the donation read, Cat picked up a small key that's used right here to get some treasure for the treasure route. So convenient that it's placed right there. Buddy. <laughs> I like how he just falls down. He just like falls right through you. All right, so now we have access to the cannon here. I'm gonna throw it before he throws that at me. Adios. Adios. So we're going to do one more thing here. I love this. Heck those guys right there. They're the just worst. heck these guys all into all together, because they they just body block you. They can grab you. They can chuck at you. They smash their smash their shields into you. So for safety's sake, we usually try to just do that, so we don't have to so, worry about it. Well, we went in guys. circles there. Wow. Round and around she goes. All right. Now we will be Ashley, retrieving Ashley once you? again. And this time we're going to be going through a maze. There you go. Chapter nine. That was a quick chapter. Chapter eight isn't too, too bad. It's just definitely unfortunate with the grenades if they decide not to cooperate. Can't believe that guy. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me make sure I'm all reloaded. There are dogs here, but we just don't, we don't want to pet them, and we really hope they don't pet us. Yeah, these dogs here are uh, not your friend. Did you see him? He's poking out a little bit, saying hello, making their presence known. So there's going to be two dogs in the cage here. And I'm going to shoot both of them at the same time, so that way they don't come out of the cage. Because if they come out of the cage and they plug us, then it's a bad time for everybody involved. Oh, that's a better. They are so much more tanky when the plaga comes out. Mm-hmm. They take so many shots. 
And then you get the uh, golden chest piece, chest board here. Uh, yeah, just really collecting money for later upgrades and purchases that we're going to need for the run. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of this <sighs> is largely coming down to purchasing rocket launchers and a couple other necessities, but mainly rocket launchers. So up until now, um, they haven't really been available in the store. And rocket launchers work pretty interestingly in the game, where once you buy one, at least in standard difficulty, they don't become available again for a couple chapters after that. So when you buy them, it's very important. Give me a warning next. Grenade here to take out most of them and then finishing... Wow, that was super clean. <laughs> finishing off the last dog before it transformed into a Plagas and became a Bullet Sponge. You mind if I cut in real quick? Yeah, sure. This is an update. We did hit $20,000 raised for Malala Fund. Thank Let's you, go. every single Woo. person who has made that happen. You all are amazing. Thank you so much. Let's go. Thank That's you. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for all the wonderful donations. And thank you to my community who have been, you know, I've, I've, I've heard your donations. Thank you so, so much uh, for everybody, you know, watching, and donating. You guys are awesome. All right, so to end out the maze section, I do need to kill some dudes here. Oh. I'm amazed that didn't give it to you. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, that was fine. <laughs> he was about to swing at me and I was like, oh, no, 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 again, not again. <laughs> not yeah, today. Ashley doesn't, doesn't come out of the maze unless those three guys go down. Yeah. Usually there's also a way to flash, uh, there's a way to flash them so Ashley can get through. It's usually like up there, but that was mostly a pro strat, I believe. On standard, you can just shoot those guys in the head and move on. Yeah, I believe that's a pro thing because enemies are so much tankier and you have a lot less resources at your disposal, so... Don't know yeah. if it's changed since, but... Not to my knowledge. So we did waste a grenade, but now we're going to be looking for heavy grenades, and those are RNG, surprisingly, believe it or not. But speaking of regular grenades, this room is terrible, but you throw a grenade. It interrupts the guy from bringing down this uh, elevated platform. You can just walk right to the end. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, because this, this room is horrendous. There's like 30 guys. You have to go through all this other stuff while protecting Ashley. And I can just go in and get out and just have to figure out how to get by the uh, enemies who spawn here. Good this job, Ashley. Fine. You did it. Yeah, She'll and... She'll be... Uh... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> so she got, she got down there, which is fine. Uh, because if I just do this, she should be fine. And we carry on as normal. Uh, it's a really nice little thing. Uh, if she's incapacitated, it's not the end of the world. If there's a checkpoint, if you're on pro, uh, well, you, you gotta pick her up. <laughs> but thankfully, we're not on pro, so I don't have to worry too, too much. She, we keep her safe. And look at these suits means. of armor just decorating the wall. They surely won't. Oh my god! Surely they won't do anything. Oh, we got another grenade. Not a heavy grenade, but it's, uh, oh, magnum ammo. Thank you, game. I really wanted that. Are we here okay. for a, a night about town? Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Oh. Get your night funds in chat. <laughs> Now's the time. <laughs> Before Leon does, because he has the worst one. Yeah, <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> the game really wants to give me shotgun shells. So they can take three or four hits, depending on what the game wants to give to you. And in the last phase, the first two phases, you get two of them coming out. In the last one, three of so them I'm come actually, out. actually, where is she? She is here. I have a little bit of a fun fact about these lanterns, if you guys are interested. Sure. Oh, I'd love to hear it. Um, so you know how in... Now, obviously, we didn't see this in the El Gigante cutscene because Kat skipped it, but the Gloria Las Plagas dude comes out and he awakens the El Gigante with the, with the lantern, right? Um, mm -hmm. Well, there's also a file there that says that basically he was put to sleep by a incantation, and I believe that the blue lanterns are the lanterns they use to do that. So it's kind of like the opposite yeah. of the red lanterns. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Nighty night, nights. Thanks for the lore lesson. 
You sure you're all right? You're not yeah. There's still no lore explanation as far as I'm Thanks concerned for, for why the Plogas can survive in a suit of armor without a biological host. But, eh, you know, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's it looks cool. It's fine. It's it fine. looks Resident cool. Evil That's all things, that matters. Really. <laughs> Try to explain Resident Evil things sometimes can be very cool. difficult. Okay. <laughs> it has now, moments. There's still, like, probably about, like, four or five minutes left in this chapter, but... Outside of the shopping trip right here, which is where we're, I think, uh, Kat, you're going to purchase your first rocket launcher, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to do... Make some flash grenades, because we are going to be needing those later. I think I only have enough Welcome. for three. That's I fine. Got something new for you. Um, you I'm actually going to sell that, that. Do you. Uh, You're a real... <laughs> That's one of the biggest shopping trips in the run. <laughs> so much. So many menus. Thank you. Yep, it is, it is a lot, um, but we are here to Let buy the buy the rocket launcher, essentially, because we are going to be needing that later. So we didn't get the heavy grenades, or we haven't seen any heavy grenades yet. That's okay. There is a recipe we can buy later on Got if we have the extra cash. Eat here. Which we no should thanks. have. And if we do, then uh, we can just make some. But we do need the extra resources, so that can be a little bit of a struggle. But if we also have like small light grenades, uh, that is usually fine too, as those can be used for later chapter that we're we're looking at. But we do need at least one heavy nade. Mm -hmm. At least one. At least one. Please, game. Please, <laughs> please be kind. Come on. We we got a couple chapters to get up. Come on. Yes. Um, but yeah, so like the, the bulk of the uh, the really difficult part of chapter nine here is done, uh, but we still have the wonderful Ashley segment, everybody's favorite. Yes, we got the Ashley with her cute default outfit and the blue hair. And the blue lantern. <laughs> the blue lantern, yep. She looks good with the blue hair. She's cute. I love no it. bias at all. I do like blue hair, Ashley. Scary yeah, like blue that. hair Ashley is great. I usually a favor for that... the uh, romantic outfit with the red hair. That's my favorite. Same. We have a minute or so for donations. Yes. We do have a little bit of a running here, so yeah, go for it. Thank you, thank you. I have $25 from Doiker that says, Pet that dog. We are at 1,745 out of 2,000. Oh. We only need $255 to pet Koopa. We are also only $1,966 away from unlocking our bonus game, Fear, which will be an amazing run and does mean more Flame Fatales 2023. So chat, if you want to let me know what your favorite Resident Evil character it could be a hero, it could be a villain, it could be anyone you want. Donate that in with $5, and if you want to go ahead and also select the incentive to pet the dog, you're kind of doing double there. You're doing two things at once. You're doing three things. You're donating to a good cause, you're unlocking our bonus game, Fear, and you're going towards petting a dog. What more could you want? Yeah, that, that was a pretty good pitch there, Nicole. I mean, <laughs> I who, see who wouldn't Koopa. want any of that? I <laughs> that sounds like see everything. Koopa. That sounds like everything I love in life, so nice sell. <laughs> we love Thank Koopa. you. <laughs> okay, we are good. We're home free. Okay. So that, that part there can be a little spooky in the last, like when you're getting out of that room. Mainly because the knights can get, uh, they, they can just have the zoomies all of a second, all of a sudden, and it's just like, oh, okay. Oh, we're, go we're doing that today. Uh, due to Ashley being one hit, uh, one hit from a retry, <laughs> you definitely don't want to, you know, have that happen. So thankfully we had a nice little room there. Not too, too shabby. We're going to grab this insignia here. So this you is a actually... little bit of an awkward... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, you actually bypassed some of this Ashley section because the clock... Oh that there's a clock puzzle that we have to do and we know the time already so we could input it early so thankfully that allows us to skip some of it and the solution is always the same on the, on standard difficulty our uh, professional has a different one but okay. yeah i believe uh, hardcore and professional share puzzles and then assisted and standard share puzzles yeah that so, sounds about yeah. right yeah all right, so a little, uh, little rush back through this room. Thankfully, it is like probably the most consistent room. Watch I say that and something happens. 
as it usually does. <laughs> no one's ever died in this room, ever. We're, we're good. We're out of there. Peachy. Not a single hair has been touched on our baby eagle. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be going up the stairs with one last night. Except for, I'm actually just going to say, uh, I'm just going to change my FPS real quick and uh, squeeze right by him. So changing your FPS, uh, like to put it in a light way, is essentially it makes your hitbox very small. That's like the best way I can put it. So it allows you to squeeze by enemies a lot faster and a lot, well, obviously a lot easier. Uh, whereas if you were to do it on higher frame rate, it's almost like your hitbox gets a little bit bigger. So the lower the frame rate, the smaller the hitbox. We actually use that for a lot of different Resident Evil runs. It's kind of insane how much it's used. Uh, like Resident Evil 7 is a pretty good example of that because we do use it quite a bit. But yeah, that was chapter nine. Yeah, I think one of the most famous examples of it is uh, how it changes the power of the knife in uh, many video games. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that as well. All right, All GG. Right. Same as ever. GG, indeed. So now we have chapter 10. This is a spooky chapter. <laughs> we have some Novista doors. We love these guys. There we go. I was like, oh, that's a little scary. Uh, usually you would shotgun them to kill them so you don't have to worry about them. But on this run, we do uh, we do just shoot them with pistol, which can be a little spooky because the Navisa doors do a ton of damage. They are very mean. They are very ruthless. We have a heal in this room. Thank goodness. The good news is um, they get stunned for a very long amount of time, especially if you shoot them before they get out of their camouflage or while they're in the air. So it gives you a very large window to get past them, but there are just so many of them. And sometimes they'll just be like, no, I'm going to get in your face. Mm -hmm. You have to deal with me now. Good luck. Yep. So we're going to... There you go. Just throw that flash there because it basically just stuns them all for a good amount of the time except for the ones down below which we do need to get down there we're gonna be coming up on double garador fight coming up and i will need some focus time because that room gets very spooky for me personally uh as we do have to deal with <laughs> the double garador mm -hmm. and we also have to deal with uh we also have to deal with the bloom from the broken butterfly, and the broken butterfly is not nice. So I'm going to yes. focus. Good luck. Right. Grab a flash. And we're going to get all the way up to the store and try to get some precision shots here. Oh. I don't know. It, this is what I mean by the bloom on this gun is not very nice. And it will, for some reason, just often not hit where you're supposed to hit for some reason. So the goal is essentially just to get the plagas on their backs to come out as quickly as possible because when we throw a flash grenade, it will instantly kill them. And, Very nice, uh, Scott. Good job. That was yeah. great. So that's what, that's ideally of how that room needs to go. Uh, if it doesn't go that way, then, you know, it's not too bad to retry there because it is a little bit... Like, the, re the checkpoints in here are fairly forgiving. But thank goodness we're out of there. Awesome. And Whoa, the sewers, whatever this place is called. Kat's going to be doing a another save and reload trick right here to avoid uh, this very, very long loading squeeze, as I call it. So you'll still hear uh, Leon spout his perfect line. 
Oh, you did say it. Sometimes, oh, you you have, I think you have to be very close to get it. Mm -hmm. It's a little, it's a little jank. Yeah, but this he's is on, a very he's on long. Frame he's shy. <laughs> he's a little shy. Yeah. And this is my favorite out of bounds. I think of the game. You just rotate the camera before you enter. The Leon just just crawls straight out of bounds. It's wonderful. It is a canned animation, so you have to wait till it's over. Basically, you still have to hold forward through it. But then uh, now, Cat's gonna run through a very specific route that you end up underneath the floor at the very end here. And yeah. just, I want you to all to watch Leon. We're picking up the crown here to sell for big money later, but just watch Leon here. This is hilarious. Rise, Leon, rise! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very goofy, but I, I love it. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little, no, do not send to storage. That's not where we want, no. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. Okay. So this is why this is the section why we bought the rocket launcher in the previous chapter for. Have a grenade. Damn. Nice. Dang. Yeah, we hope for a heavy grenade there. <laughs> I am gonna have to probably grab the heavy grenade recipe because we did not get any, which is very bad RNG. Uh, we love to see them when we do, but when we don't, it's like, well, I guess I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just go spend money. It's fine. No free heavy grenades for me, I guess. Mm-hmm. I'm just so glad this we is... to make them. <laughs> yeah. This is the, uh, wonderful vertigo section. There he is. He's crawling around. He's being all spooky. And this is going to be the introduction of a trick called the quote unquote infinite rocket launcher with big asterisk. It's not technically infinite, but it's infinite enough for our purposes. Uh, Kat's going to be in the next room intentionally taking damage from an environmental source. In this case, the uh, liquid nitrogen uh, vents that you can use to freeze the boss. And by quick swapping between the rocket launcher and the pistol or whatever weapon you want uh, in a specific way, uh, the game will be tricked into making sure Leon is still holding the rocket launcher, but it's going to be looking at that other gun for its ammo source. If you look at the bottom right hand of the stream, um, you will see taking some damage there. So Kat is holding the pistol on the bottom right, but actually has the rocket launcher, and you can now do this. So basically it applies the, the handgun's ammo value and puts it onto the rocket launcher, which is uh, pretty mm. clever. Yeah. Unfortunate. We got a little unlucky there, so I uh, did it a little too early. Oh no. Yeah, if you shoot uh, Vertigo a little too early, he'll just jump back up. We need to get two rocket launcher hits on him because this guy's a tank. I'm getting very unfortunate luck here. <laughs> mm. you it's all this. good. Yeah, here's that quick swap. It does and it properly. There we go. Looks good. All right, so we want to wait until he gets up there. <laughs> but I'm like, did he die? Like, yeah, yeah, he's dead. You got him. <laughs> oh, oh, God, please just tell me you died. <laughs> yeah, pretty much anything breaks. Real oh, quick. Yeah. Sorry, we did just hit 2,000 out of 2,000 needed to pet the dog. Yes. Let's Ooh. go. Yay, Koopa. Koopa's getting pets. Koopa's getting the pets. We love when Koopa gets the pets. Uh, we love when Koopa gets pets. Thank you all so, so much. And chat, awesome. you can do it again. You can keep doing this. Oh. Yes, we can. There is, there is more to it. All right. So Vertigo is, uh, yeah, the, the infinite rocket glitch is pretty nice because it allows us to keep the rocket for later, uh, which we will be using in the next chapter coming up here, uh, which we'll have to do it again. Which this rocket we, hope gets so we don't much get <laughs> fireproof Leon. Please no fireproof Leon. I will make a save at the end of this chapter here, just in case, because you never know. <laughs> Yeah, the trick works based off of a specific animation that Leon does. And the one that just happened with liquid nitrogen is the exact same animation that Leon goes through when he gets hit by a fire attack. What's in so it works you? the same way. <laughs> no need to be suspicious. He really wants to give me handgun ammo. Yeah. A little hard for Come on, heavy grenade. Why, why are you being so stingy? All right. 
So we're hoping for no fireproof Leon. Uh, that can happen sometimes, but thankfully we get, do get a few Even tries on this one. Thankfully we don't have what to, because if we reset the checkpoint from here, just want to feel good it about doesn't do what you want it to do. It resets the Ganados in a way that we don't like. So we need to make sure that we get it here. Like got company. What do you want to do? We got it. Very nice. Nice, nice job. Highly flammable, yeah. Leon. No the flammable, The vanilla game Leon. has no, you put uh, yeah. dynamite in these rocks, but rocket launcher do just fine. I'm going to reload this rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Or he gets in, uh, stuck in the lower. animation. He doesn't like know what to do, so sure he just, just continuously the reloads the shit. Just, <laughs> reloads it. Yeah, in the NMG categories, you just have to continuously buy them, so that's fun. <laughs> Nice. All right, we're just gonna watch this cutscene real quick. So basically, that just allows, usually allows. Oh, I guess it was the naked one. Here. Oh, there we go. He's fine. Okay, usually he has like a line that he says, and I was like, it he's not saying the line that he usually says. That's concerning. But we watch that so that way uh, Luis doesn't just sit around and do nothing for a little while. We have a lot. Yeah, now that was the final use of that specific rocket launcher. So we got four rockets out of it, which is pretty good value. Goodbye, Luis. Take care, bud. Keeping those things cool. Yeah. Anyway, he was going too. places. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad that we have the amount of shotgun ammo that we do because we are going to be going into the clock tower soon, and the clock tower utilizes a lot of shotgun ammo. So the more shotgun we, and the more shotgun ammo we have, the better. Do you see any other way? Just waiting for Luis to do his thing. Get in and the cart. We're gonna get into the minecart section here. This is like the quote unquote downtime of the run, but not really because you still have to steer, you still have to shoot things, you still have to do a whole lot of stuff. I can't believe I'm doing So basically, there's gonna be two sections to this. And it's more or less just dodge, weave, shoot. Dodge, weave, shoot. But I hope you like thrill rides, chat. <laughs> do we have time for some donations while yes, we're dodging we and weaving? Yes, we do. Absolutely. This is a long section, so yep. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have twenty-five dollars from Alien Crustacean. We got one pet unlocked for the doggo, but what about unlocking two pets? Thank you very much for your donation. We are 35 out of 250 away from petting a second time. I have $125 from Delusions X Pet Dog Sooner. Thank you so much. Ed is everywhere. Donates $100. Doggo needs scritches. I agree. Doggo needs so many scritches. Also, chat, we are 1,600 and what? We did it. $1,591 away from unlocking our bonus game of fear. I love it when I'm announcing the number and it goes up mid-announcing. I actually genuinely think that's one of the best things ever, so thank you. Uh, if we get that met, we will get to see fear, which is ran by Fina2112. I am so excited for that and also a Again, means more flame fate house. And we are now at $205 needed for another pet. That is so close to more pets. I have $25 from Anonymous that says pet that dog. Another $25 from Anonymous that says less than three. Fina2112 donates $20 that says no disparage catling, keep kicking butts, and let's get that incentive to pet the dog nut. And then let's meet it again. And then again. Thank you everyone <laughs> at Flame Fatales 2023 and all of the runners today. Thank you very much for that donation. Let's just keep petting the dog. Yeah. Sounds like we love to me. pet the dog. Dog also loves to be pet. All right. So as you can see, the Ganados have uh, various ways of trying to stop you from doing your little minecart section here. Uh, they get onto the tracks. They have barrels of fun. Uh, crossbows, you name it, and the, there's also another little extra fun bit coming up. You'll get to see an, our pal Salvador, maybe. He's, a, he's, a, he's, he's, he's just in for the ride. He's not really trying to do anything, he just wants to enjoy the ride. But first, we gotta make a little pit stop here and uh, get to the next cart, because it's not continuous. It's just uh, we gotta get out for a quick second. Right, Luis? This it. This is it, right? Not. Ah, Things are just getting started. Yeah. This was definitely the most economical way to construct the rail system for the mining operation. Mm -hmm. 
in the OG game, uh, you can actually skip this entire section, uh, hole out of bounds for this uh, minecart section, which, which is pretty wild. But I don't think there would be a way to skip this. Uh, it's it's really hard to say. The game, even though it just came out this year, there's still you know still things to be found. I'm sure. As this. of right now. There's, there's nothing that's been discovered, but who knows? Like, they're still discovering stuff for very old games. So. True. It would be nice to, you know, it would be nice to have an out of bounds, like the old, you know, the OG Resident Evil 4. Yeah, get yeah. like a modern day uh, skip in. Yeah, it would be mm -hmm. cool. A modern day Ditman, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, modern yeah. day Ditman. They did have the charm for Ditman. Yeah, it's so cool. a bit of a it's reference. A yeah. Did out. they really? Yes. Yeah, that's so cool. Okay, there he is. Hi. Hey, Salvador. So we're just going to shoot his cart here. I love how you can just see him. He's holding that chainsaw up. He's just staring <laughs> you down. <laughs> it's a very nice. silly image of just seeing him ride along in the distance. Like, hey, get, this hey, get back here. Wait, wait. I wasn't, I wasn't done, done yet. I swear, this whole section I feel is so Looney Tunes. Like that guy holding, like holding the dynamite there, yeah. and the one guy with like, you know, the bar the fire barrels in there. It's like they they're doing this on purpose. Yeah. I swear. They just used to say Acme on the barrels. And we'll yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I do appreciate you waiting until the Ganados light the grenade to shoot them, because it's way more entertaining to see the big red mist explosion. <laughs> yeah, I well, I because you can shoot the pipe bomb and still make them explode, but it's like, yeah, I let him let him think he can light it. Mm -hmm. It's also and then, you just yeah. shoot them without hitting them. They have one HP. They'll fall over and then you run over them. Not nearly as entertaining. True. We're also totally ignoring the fact that even though we're going up, there's Sorry. like no chain lift or anything like that. So oh, totally makes cool. sense. Oh, bye, Salvador. <laughs> yeah. So we shoot oh, his. We shoot his uh, minecart early a bunch of times because the minecarts have health, as one does. Um, <laughs> so we shoot it a ton early on so we can just blow up the barrel up top, and then he's only one shot for his cart, which is really nice. Yep. We're just uh, going to Try and hit me. Try it. Thing. I dare you. <laughs> I try it. Try it. Do it. Do it now. Cowards. Or don't. <laughs> uh, uh, but there, there's still a little bit more to the section, Nicole, if you had anything else you would like to say. Absolutely. I have a $10 donation from Bat. There is no comment, but thank you so, so much. Again, we need $205 to pet the dog again. And then if we do that again, we get to pet the dog again. And then if we do that again, we get to give the dog a treat, which is phenomenal. Who yeah. doesn't want to give pups treats? We are also uh, $1,586 away from unlocking our bonus game. Chat, get those donations in. Select Pet the Dog as your incentive so we can pet more dog. Yet another game. All of this is great, and it's all going to Morala Fund, which is an amazing, amazing charity. So thank you so much for everything you've done. Hitting 20000 was absolutely huge. Let's see if we can't raise that some more today. We're now at the right, part so where they dug up the bugs. where they dug up the bugs, yeah. I was going to say, I'm just really glad we got to find out where they dug up the bugs. Very important. We were yeah. all thinking the same thing. Yeah. Luis really doesn't like the bugs, though, so... Um, he wants me to deal with them, but I'm just going to kind of not deal with them. Luis is going to obviously try and deal with them himself. So he sometimes will get stuck here. And by stuck, I mean um, just lost. He just gets lost. He lost his, he, you know, the Uber's late. He doesn't know where he's going. Even though he just, he was just behind me not too long ago. He just gets lost. But we, that... Yeah, he took the minecart, and he was right behind us. But then I was going to call it, it the minecart Uber. <laughs> the minecart Uber! That's uh, that's the Uber down here, is the minecarts. They might hit me here. Yep. Oh? Oh. Ah, damn it. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. It is what it is. We have another Uber coming here. Oh, I have something Let's just hope I have oh, enough. Some... All right, so we're going to just do this. Uh, and we're just going to sell, 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 sell the broken butterfly, and I'm going to sell these resources. 
And uh, well, we're going to then. buy the rocket launcher. And we're going to buy the body armor. We're going to repair the knife. Do that. Don't get yourself we're killed good. now. <laughs> easy, easy. Very good. So, as you know, Luis is probably left behind somewhere. Where is he going to wait? Where, where yeah, is I'm, he? I'm sure he's fine and not Bug Chow. <laughs> Luis! Mom, Luis? Luis? Where are you? <laughs> no? Darn. <laughs> oh, I tried. Luis! Where are, there he there he is finally Louis. Louis. Just want to make sure that's equipped. Uh, I'm actually going to do this really quickly. He's having a hard time finding the elevator Uber. And as a quick yeah. update, we did hit the second pet the dog. <gasps> Ooh, no way! Okay, yes way! Go. Chat, you can do it again. You can keep doing it. All right. So now. Are you being controlled by that cult? Or the very annoying Krauser section. Are you not a fan of the RNG kicks? No. <laughs> so the RNG kicks in this are really nice. Uh, really not nice, is what I meant to say. So this is the unfortunate part that happens when he goes into that. So this fight is completely RNG with how uh, Krauser is going to act. He should be close. There it is. There nice. we go. Nicely done. Yeah. So awesome. we do a, a hold there. So if you hold down while uh, knifing at him, it actually continuously lets Leon keep knifing and keep knifing. You won't get away with this, Krauser. Yeah, it also changes the animation a little bit. So instead of doing these swipes with the knife, you do like lunges and it's a lot quicker and it's what we want for the Krauser fight. He did take away a little bit of my body armor, but that's fine. As we are going to be going into the clock tower. So clock oh. tower is, uh, it's not hard in theory. It's just how the, the cultists decide to be. <laughs> uh, so that's why I'm really glad we have a lot of shotgun ammo. We have about 22 shells, which is very good. So we're gonna make sure that we uh, we get all the way to the top without problem. So we do have to take a little bit of a lengthy elevator. There's the clock tower. There's the clock tower. Hang in there, Ashley. Hang in there, Ashley. We're on our, we're on our way, baby girl. Um, so we're gonna make sure we get here as safely as possible. Let's just see what we get here. Just for the sake. Oh, we got rifle ammo. We love rifle ammo, and we got a velvet blue. Nice. Okay. Mr. Leon Kennedy. <laughs> oh, they're already being weird. That's fine. Yeah, it's really it's really nice to have uh, you know a ton of shotgun shells here, even uh, more than you need, just because kind of like our drops earlier. You know, Cat was looking for all that rifle ammo and heals and all that stuff. Um, you know, those shotgun shell drops are, are RNG. There are a couple static drops. Um, if you don't get the uh, shotgun shells that you need, you will have to craft them um, with small resources and regular uh, gunpowder, with the gunpowder and such. So uh, I'm really glad you have what you need here. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay. We actually got through the top here. I was gonna say completely unharmed, but then that happened. It's cool. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Wow. <laughs> he thought about it. <laughs> he thought about it. So we're just gonna grab that. Um, we're just gonna grab that handgun ammo and everything there. Hello. 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 Hello? <laughs> I'm like, I'm pressing <laughs> that. That did not want to be grabbed. Like, oh, you are 
Oh, hi. No. Anyways. Jesus. <laughs> hey! Hey! Stop that. So he's gonna go crazy. We're just gonna let him do his thing, though. Because it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, we just don't want anybody on here as we uh, as we ascend because they can turn into plagas. I was I was busy looking over here, not looking at the barrel like a silly goose. Mm -hmm. And if any any enemies do drop on your elevator, then it temporarily stops it just for a brief moment because there's a weight limit on that elevator. So definitely imperative you don't get anyone on here. Oh, hi. Yeah, you see as she was like grabbing her head there, that was that means she was about to plug us. So we have a few buddies that are probably Excuse me. Don't be rude. <laughs> Alright, so we do have another one here. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> so funny when that happens. Oh, we're just gonna do that real quick. Thank you very much. So I try to use the pistol as much as I can here because it does allow... I was like, where is he going? Can I, can I shoot, please? No. Oh. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was close. close. I was like, why is that? That's the one unfortunate part about letting those guys live is that uh, they can and will stop you from doing anything. I don't think there's anybody else I need to worry about. I think we're good here. You are good. All right. Woo. Thank you, shotgun Nicely ammo. Done. <laughs> nice yeah, job. That's yeah. why it's like nice to have the shotgun ammo there because if you don't have the shotgun ammo there, it gets very spooky. So I'm going to take my sweet little time here because this little bridge, uh, makeshift bridge, is very breakable. So if I start running on it, Leon will just instantly just fall off and just you, you just kind of cry a little bit on the inside. It's unfortunate. So I'm just going to dodge and weave here. I might get hit once or twice. Who knows? Never mind. We're good. Right, and we got a ton of shotgun ammo or sniper ammo, sorry. And we're just gonna we're just gonna do that. Bye, bye, Salazar. Bye, Mister. Oh. <laughs> oh, I I probably should mention this, and I haven't mentioned it at all. Um, I'm using a double input. So what Actually, that does is that it essentially allows for you to hit one button very fast. So as you saw, I picked up all that uh, all that stuff from the barrels very quickly. Uh, I hold down basically one button and another button, and it's almost like I'm holding down a keyboard and a controller button at the same time. So it acts like it's, it's almost like a macro, but not really. It's basically just a double input. Um, but it basically just allows us to get out of enemy grabs quicker. It allows us to do a lot of skips faster and it allows us to pick up items faster. So it is a very useful thing, but sometimes if you're holding it down near a ledge or near certain things, Leon will do not what you want <laughs> because it's spamming your confirm button repeatedly. But it's fine. It was pretty funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens to me every so often where I'm like, oh, yeah, I should probably not, like, hold that near, a net, near the ledge. But, you know, it's whatever. Yep, and we are finally leaving the castle, uh, which yes. is Perfect. definitely... Won't have to swim after all. Uh, I think probably one of the most, if not the most brutal areas, start to finish. Just the whole castle area is just so rough. But the island is no slouch either. Um, especially going into chapter 13 right here, which is like the marathon chapter of the end of the game. It just goes on for so, so long, and there's no real way to skip big, huge sec sections of it, though there are a couple things with the lasers that we can do that is quite amusing in, in the way that they actually work. Yes. 
So there is a few instances where if I don't get it the first time, unfortunately, reloading a checkpoint is kind of a necessary thing. However, uh, there is a backup to it, so it's fine. It's a very risky, very risky strats, so to speak, I guess you could say. So I'm going to be using the hand grenade here. But first, I'm going to go get this guy because he will get in the way. You too. That's unfortunate. He died. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So I wanted Remember him to Remember that RNG fall. health pool we were talking about? Yeah, so his RNG health is very low, so unfortunately I have to do this the old-fashioned way. Which is watch this cutscene. Yeah, uh, so what we're doing here is these big laser turrets with the big red targeting lasers are agnostic to any human body. So if anything, including enemies, gets into it, We'll fire onto them. So, old boy here is going to walk into him, get hit, nice. take the bullets, and he can just walk right on. Very nice. Thank you, JJ. Very smooth. <laughs> it's such a clever use of the game mechanics. Like, that's not a glitch. That's just what they do. And oh. it's super neat. See, that part can be really tricky if you have to reset the room, because what happens when you reset is the enemies positions don't reset, which kind of messes up the whole thing. It makes it a lot more difficult to do this and put Bull Boy in the laser. Yeah, so you want to hope that he... So if you don't watch that entirety of the cutscene, JJ or Bull Boy, or Bull Boy, however you want to call him, uh, he will just not move where you... Okay, I'll go, I'll go around then. Fine. Um, he will basically just go the opposite direction of where you want to go. So you want him to come towards you, but if you don't watch the cutscene, he'll run away from you. So it's just like, well, I guess I'll just sit here and watch this cutscene real quick. It's fine. Yeah, I think he just gets angry and it's like, you, you interrupted my moment. I'm, I'm yeah. running away. How dare you not give me my time to shine? Hmm. Like, you know how much I spent oiling me up? You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> I know, you right? Have a moment for a couple donations? Yes, ma'am. I have five dollars from land. More dog pets are good for flame fatals, and more flame fatals is good for the world. Let's get that bones run. Thank you very, very much. Twenty-five dollars from Sleep Paralysis Demon. We want here. Keep me away for longer. Chat. We are at thirty dollars out of two hundred and fifty dollars to pet the dog again, again. So that's only two hundred and twenty dollars left. We are also only one thousand one hundred and forty-six dollars away from our bonus game. Let's get those donations in. Let's get those incentives met to pet the dog a. Third time for more flame bait towels and more dog pets. All right, so you probably just, uh, you just saw me phase through the wall and drop down to the lower floor, and you're probably thinking to yourself, what in the heck was even that? Um, so basically, like I said earlier, from chapter one, there is a thing with the trip mine bombs that allow us to essentially go out of bounds in a way because of how you enter the animation and how you exit the animation. Um, it will like push you through the wall essentially uh, just because of how Leon like gets up from doing that. But yeah, so it allows us to basically get to the second floor very quickly. I have something I think so you chapter 15, I'm gonna have to remind myself to buy some heavy grenade stuff, uh, which is fine. Like I said, it's not the end of the world if we have to buy those, but kind of unfortunate that we've got literally none. Also, high regenerators. How do you do? Jiggly love boys. boys. <laughs> we love them. I love them so much. They're so they're so adorable with their big old goofy smiles. They are. They're they're oddly humorous with how much meat is on them. <laughs> They're terrifying in the OG game, and you know they're still a little scary here because they have the same, uh, you know, sound sound bite, I believe. Um, but yeah, they just you see them, you're like, oh, you look a little funny. Yeah, it's very. Uh, it, they can be very grabby, and their arms they stretch very far. So like <laughs> you, you obviously want to sometimes take, take that. Sometimes just take some like wider turns. 
So he, so he was, boys. he was doing some stretchiness there. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to go the long way around, just in case. And I don't have a crazy amount of items that I can use for healing. So I'm just going to try and save that for the end of this chapter. I think this is my favorite uh, regenerator in this game specifically. He's just you just got the, the goofiest card. smile. <laughs> yeah, you put in the card, and then he comes out of the body bag. He stands up, and he's like, yo, what's up? I'm here now. <laughs> Shit, again? I had to push but, against him. Yeah, Kat's uh, doing the out-of-bounds trick. And the AI doesn't know what to do. So generator's like gonna peek down the hat. And sometimes Cam just yeah. pushy like that, but thankfully that the end. That was actually re really good timing actually. So we, we, we will take that. Uh, I, I don't really need to use the knife all too much anymore anyways. It's mostly just for quick situations like that, but that was really, really well, uh, well situated. So we didn't have to worry about grabbing the key card later. All right. I, so I now, love the whole atmosphere of this area. It's just so creepy. The flashing lights, the darkness. Yeah. I, uh, Very well done. I actually have the original sounds on because I am very much uh, a fan of the original noises. So they just make me happy. Um, but just like the the original noise, like the original like music for this room is like super spooky. Um, so I am now going to put on the biosensor scope here and hope for a good RNG. We got decent RNG. It is completely random which regenerator in this room has the wrench. So that is why you need biosensor scope to both easily kill them and know which one you have to kill. Honestly, you can go ham uh, without any scopes on these regenerators and you'll eventually hit a Plagos, but uh, just for, you know, you definitely want it uh, for this wrench here. So definitely don't want to take any risks there. Yeah, that's really the only real use for it in the run right there. Yeah. And now, so uh, similar to what happened in the freezer, just chilling. I'm just gonna that wait. The I'm hoping they don't grab me. They sometimes can grab you out of here. Or throw a pipe bomb sometimes, you know? You never you never know what you're going to get with these guys. And what's We're really... For the sound. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, what's really silly, because when all those guys come in and they have pipe bombs, they can explode in that room and bust open uh, one of those tubes, and then uh, regenerators can come out. So you're just like, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most fragile containment like in the history of video games. You sneeze on that glass, it breaks. <laughs> It's a little spooky here. Oh, I heard Ooh. someone blow up. Yes. <laughs> All right. Perfectly fine. Oh, that's not bad. Not, not bad. Not bad. We're going to have to repair our body armor uh, because we will be needing that for chapter 15. Uh, which is a very spooky chapter. Like the earlier thing we did with the laser at the beginning of this chapter, we're going to have to be doing it again. And that is chapter 13 complete. And Ashley is back. And in the, the villa game, this is sort of the casual route through this game. This is a very long, very difficult, very annoying chapter with a lot of strong, spooky enemies and a lot of auto scroller segments. It's where the cannonball happens and all that. But I have some new good as you saw, we can do the door glitch. Can you again. give me a boost? No. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yourself. we don't need to. So typically yeah, she'll, she'll figure it out. So uh, in a casual playthrough or on um, NMG, you go there to the left. You have to go through this area. Um, you have to go. You have to go through uh, like a waste disposal area and stuff like that. You come across your first Iron Maiden. Uh, you have to do that whole yeah the crane stuff here and things like that. But yeah, these these door clips are, are so amazing. Can I cut yeah. in real real quick? Yeah, sure. Just wanted to announce that we did hit twenty-one thousand dollars raised, oh which means goodness. we are only nine hundred and thirty-four away, and we are at two hundred and forty-one dollars and some change out of two hundred and fifty to pet the dog again. We are let's almost go. there. Well, let's go. Pet all the dog. Pet all the dog. So are, uh... many times. 
We are riding a very slow elevator if you'd like to get some of those wonderful donations in. I absolutely would. I have $200 from Morton. They say, go, cat. Thank you so much for your donation. $150 from J5 LLC. Thanks, GDQ. Also, Flame Fatales rolls. I agree. Hi, hi, donates $25, petting our dog Falcon while donating to pet the dog. Thank you so much for that donation and give give Falcon some extra pets. I have $10 from Lupomp, it says. Hi. Thank you very, very much. We are now only $900 away from reaching our bonus game of fear. We are so close, Twitch chat. Let's get that net so we have a little more time of Flame Fatales tonight. And also only about, again, $9 away from petting the dog again. Let's get that net. Let's I have $205 from Anonymous. They say less than three. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Less than three to you as well. All right. He's going to AFK, thank goodness. Okay, so now we're going to be meeting Krauser. Uh, we just met up with Sadler. Uh, we talked to him. He took Ashley away from him, away, away from us. So we're just going to have to get her back again. But first, we're going to sell, 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 sell. sell. Uh, and I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to buy, because we need the rocket launcher. And on top of that, I am going to tune up and repair that. Trying to... Okay, we don't have to get it until chapter 15. Okay. I'm, like, trying to remind myself. I'm like, okay, remember to buy the heavy grenade recipe. <laughs> We are going to have to do that, but we're going to watch this cutscene. So interestingly enough with this cutscene is that it's the, like with the JJ cutscene, things are still happening around you in the, like, in the game. However, this cutscene is rolling while that's happening. So basically we're getting Krauser to be located in a certain spot. And when we exit out of this cutscene, it will glitch him out and make him go out of bounds, essentially. He'll, he'll still try and attack you, but... Give it up, Krauser. He's nowhere to be found. So we're basically minions. waiting until oh, Leon says a certain word, cut out, the and then we don't really have to deal with Krauser Revenge after that until the next section coming up. And we did hit the Revenge. third instance of petting you that good pup Koopa. Go. $700 away from the Revenge. bonus game and 250 away from giving the pup a treat. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much, here, yeah. buddy. Koopa's going to be very happy. I'm so excited. It's pure, unadulterated <laughs> power. <laughs> I'm not going to give me that. You're, you're an <laughs> we are approaching the end of the cutscene, the important come. part of the cutscene. So there we go. Leon raising his fist and he'll shoot you. Like That's what the body armor is for, so we don't take any damage there. Yeah, so he'll yeah, still he'll shoot us in this part here, but as soon as we come up here, he's gone. He's he'll nowhere to be found. Yeah, he'll still yell. You can still hear him running, but he's nowhere to be seen. I'm so God, I'm <laughs> weak. Yeah. All right. So now we have to basically get through this section here with Krauser, you know, being Krauser as per usual. Go with your gut, don't, don't think. think. That was the first thing you told me. Right. Bobby. Okay. Okay. Hey, not bad. All right. I'm no stranger to the oh. I'm gonna forget. Dun, 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 dun. I can't believe you've done this to us. I'm sorry. I cannot believe you've done this to us. <laughs> Still alive, huh? It's just whenever lucky. he says that line, I'm just, I can't help myself. It just sounds so similar. I swear they did it on purpose. <laughs> I admit, you've done well to stay alive this long. I'd be dead if I kept listening to people like you. So we're just going to make sure to dodge these shots here. And get through here. He's going to drop some grenades. If only we could take those heavy grenades. I uh, know. Can I have those? <gasps> Krauser. So nice. This is it. So Kat is going to be using regular weapons to take out this phase of Krauser. Some grenades. 
because this one has a health gate and it'll run off, but we can't finish them off until the late. end of the fight, so we're saving the rocket launcher for that. All right, I don't know what his health was at, but I think that was it. Yes. Yep, good work, that was quick. There you go, easy peasy. And we're only $620 away from fear. Yay! Yeah, I love Yay, fear. Really like yeah. Yeah. Thank you, chat. So just in case, I'm gonna grab that. Just for safety's sake. Oh, I was pressing the wrong. <laughs> that was for us taking his heavy grenade. He was not happy about it. I'm so happy you finally got a heavy grenade. I know, there was like the last minute. I was like, oh my goodness, thank God. Yeah, because the section we need the heavy grenades is literally right after this. So that was like one of the Hi, last possible spots to get a heavy grenade. Also, yeah, we use a we use that on Krauser, and uh, yeah, it's just a uh, kablooey, one could say, I suppose. <laughs> so we do have the necessary items to get to the next little bit here. So we're going into chapter 15 now. So chapter 15 has another uh, laser skip going up here, but we're going to be utilizing a shotgun and a body. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use a, a friendo to help us out here. But first, we gotta uh, say hi to Mike. We love Mike. I've got some new items. He's a homie. Everybody's favorite helicopter pilot. Stop. <laughs> and he knows all the good bars. He knows all the good bars. R rumor has it, uh, <laughs> he'll uh, get you a drink. Rumor so also has it that we're only five hundred and eighty-five dollars away from the bonus game now. Nice. We can Let's meet go. that by the end of this run. We're so, we are so close. We, we still got time. Lots of time. And okay, also, so, pick off. Go ahead. One hundred and eighty-five dollars away from giving the dog a treat. Hey! So, with that being said, uh, you're probably wondering why I saved there. So, the reason why I did that is so I can get an enemy to appear for me. So I can make Mike appear early. So usually Mike would appear a little bit later. We also want to make sure we're right here. So that way when he starts talking, we don't get an extra cutscene, which does lose time. So here we go. Time to uh, do a kill base section here. We are going to have to kill a few enemies here. None of them are really too, too bad, thankfully. Mike will actually help us out in this situation, which is great. I think we have two more enemies there. Okay, I think that was all of them. I'm gonna go break this open real quick, because you never know what could be inside. But I'm gonna make my way down here. Pick up some more money. I like money. And by uh, that, I mean donate to the Let's go! Pet the Let's dog. Go. Pet the dog. Pet the dog a treat. Dog a treat. <laughs> now Mike is going ham. He's almost I, hitting me. I, I never see him go through and get him back there. That's actually really nice. I'm actually really surprised that he hits in there. Yeah. All right, that should be enough. There you go. Oh, I was pointed the right one, wrong way, apparently. That's cool. Uh, that's fine. All right. Now we are coming up on the uh, big, important second. This is why we needed those heavy grenades. Um, basically, you can run through here, and Spike's going to take care of everybody. But after this, there is an aircraft turret that we have to take down so Mike can, you know, continue to assist us. Uh, but as soon as you take out the aircraft, the uh, anti-aircraft gun, an autosave happens. So we can utilize that to force an autosave to happen in a very specific spot, coupled with the sniper rifle to send us out of bounds, skipping a very annoying segment off to the left here. So good luck, Cat. That looked good to me. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Awesome. You do your thing, Mike. All right, so we're gonna set up here. We're gonna do a little thing. We're gonna hope and pray that this goes without a hitch. So we're gonna drop down here. Don't worry about it. Leon will drop back up. Hopefully, cross our fingers. I'm not gonna touch anything else other than 
skipping this cutscene, and I'm just going to be holding A and shift. So what that does, it'll allow Leon to get back onto the ledge here. Hopefully. There you go. And we want to make sure we're at 30 FPS for this. This is a setup for a later, a later glitch that we're going to be doing. It's essentially turning Ashley into a uh, quote-unquote duffel bag. <laughs> we'll it's see what I mean if we get it. Hopefully we get it. It's such a great, it, it's such a awesome skip. It, it looks great. <laughs> Yeah, a lot does have to go right. So from now until the moment where we activate the glitch after at the end of chapter 15 here, uh, Cat cannot take a death or that will uh, reset that. Yeah. So if I die here, it's a not, no bueno. Thanks. We get out of here. Drinks are on me. I know a good bar. You know it's a good bar. I can't wait. <laughs> oh no, so, Mike. Having duffel bag, basically having the duffel bag uh, skip ready, it also does kind of make Leon a little bit slower. So that makes this a little bit pa more painful uh, and hoping that everything goes right with everything. It should be fine though. We should be, we should be peachy. Only have to roll that twice, go through, just fine. And we're gonna use the sniper scope yet again. There we go, and just phase Very through the nice. door while holding back, and then what's my? Okay, we're good. Uh, while holding back and then pressing W at the right Almost time, basically that allows Leon to that's interact with the door on the other side, and that's why he kind of phases through there. This here is the last big segment. Go ahead. Others are getting in the way. Quick update, we are only $405 away from meeting our bonus game, and we are only $55 away from giving the dog a treat. Let's go, Twitch chat. Thank you so much, Twitch chat. Thank this you is so it. Much. That, that laser right there. So Kat is going to uh, throw that flash grenade to just some enemies, take out this guy, and slowly move him up the bat into the laser, but not kill him, allowing it to refocus and make it. her way through. Let's go, Kat. Let's Nicely go. Done. Yeah, that, that part can be a little scary. There was a scarier way of doing it, but that is a lot safer and a lot less scary. However, Ashley. you need to make sure you don't kill him. Otherwise, it's uh, unfortunate when it happens. So uh, yeah, this is duffel bag. <laughs> Incredible. I am going to be pausing a ton here. It might not work. Oh, it worked. Yeah, normally Leon is carrying Ashley, uh, you know, normally, and it's very, very slow. So having the duffel bag skip uh, saves so much time. It's very, it's very nice. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> it looks so goofy. It's just <laughs> like a rag doll. You know, it's, it's time for your bed, child. <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm the angry teenage brother trying to put her, his, like, baby sister to bed. Is this going yeah, to be... Yeah, these lines, Leon says, really hit differently when you're in this state. Is this going to be deducted from Leon's salary at the end? Possibly. <laughs> I don't know, she seemed pretty happy with the job. I, I guess we, we, we went pretty well. So this is how normally Leon's supposed to hold her, but, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. This time it has to be different. <laughs> he looks so bored doing it. Yeah. Just like, He's like, I oh, just want to go home. I'm tired. The job. I'm not getting overtime for this. You guys want another quick fun fact if there's time? Sure. Yeah. So this is uh, Luis's lab. Um, and in the lab, you can find a couple yeah. of files and a photo that says yes, that he's been working for Umbrella Paris Sixth Laboratory. Now, they are also the same people who created Nemesis. Oh. So it's very possible that Luis had something yeah, to do with that. Nemesis creation, and that, in fact, that was um, kind of inspired by the Plaga. You sure you're okay? Oh, wow. So cool. That's kind of neat. I like that. that. Thank you so much for sharing. I've learned so many cool things today from you. That's amazing. 
Okay. Thank you. for like one or two donations? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we're just running through here trying to get away from some Navista doors, but in that time, go right ahead. Oh, thank you, sure thank you. I have $25 from Winslash. They say Rick rolling in 2023. Well, I gotta donate for that. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for your donation. Captain Ezekiel donates $5. Pure, unadulterated power. Let's go, Cat. Keep destroying this run. Thank you so much. We are $350 away from our next bonus game. We are $30 away from giving Koopa a treat. We have $25 from Anonymous that says give the dog a treat. I agree. We have $25 from Silence that says less than three. Thank you yeah. so, so much for your donations. We are so close to unlocking that next run. Got Thank you very well, much. Got so we're rare. going to be uh, doing a ton stranger. of selling here. So I am just oh, basically oh, just going to get rid of my entire inventory except for my shotgun shells. I will need that. Um... Just get rid of everything. It's all got to go. And we're going to buy, in return, the rocket launcher. So I just need to make sure that that's all well and good. Okay. Stay here. Good luck. This, one, this trick is very hard because you have very little time and I just need to make sure that I'm in the right spot for this. There we go. We got it. Nice. nice. Yeah, well yeah. done. So again, this can only happen when Leon is in an animation like Taking Fire or the uh, cryogenic freeze. Nicely well done. Well done. Yeah, so getting that actually saves, it, it saves about like, I wanna say like, it saves a lot of time. So you don't have to do the tango of shame. I'm gonna take that herb because I want to. Uh, but you don't, you don't have to do the tango of shame with Sadler there at the very uh, second phase. So instead of that, we just use the same rocket launcher without using Ada's rocket launcher. I'm sorry, Ada, I'm sorry, girl. We had to, we had to, we don't have time. We got places to be. So it allows us to get out of here a lot quicker. All right, last enemy. Goodbye, Juan. Bye, Juan. One, one last enemy to give us a nice little hug goodbye. And we're going to be coming up onto the jet ski here, doing some, uh, doing some water sports to get out. We're on a little bit of a timer, but that's fine. The jet ski also, isn't actually that bad compared to the original. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Also, all the enemies here have lost control. They don't have control from their master, or so to speak, anymore. So they're just useless. So they're actually all one-hit kills there. See, they don't do anything, but they're all one-hit kill because, you know, they have no power anymore. They're weak. The weaklings. All right, so we're just going to have to make sure to dodge, duck, and weave here as we come up to the end of the run. And do some flips! Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we love the sick flips. We have time for Plus uh, 500 four, points. one more donation. Absolutely. I have $25 from Super Gill for a heck with it. Might as well make it an even hundred. Thank you so much for that second donation. We just hit the give a dog a treat incentive. Let's Thank you go. so much, Twitch chat. We are $315 away from fear. You all are phenomenal. Look at you all go. Look at you. That is amazing. Thank you, everybody. I will be bringing out Koopa as soon as we get to the finish line here. And we just hey, hit $22,000. Thank go. you so much, everyone. That is amazing. We have unlocked our bonus game of fear. Thank you so much for all those chat. All right, one last flip. Boom. <laughs> all right, and time's going to be coming up as soon as I touch that light. And time. Right. GGs. Hey, GGs. GGs. Nicely done. That was, that was awesome. Resident Evil 4 remake. Ashley is safe and sound. Leon looks fabulous. I think sure the beginning half insane. of that run was mighty cursed, but you know, we trucked through and everything went pretty well, I feel. Uh, thank you everybody for having me. I'm going to go get Koopa real quick. Oh. Give, me a, give me a moment. I can't I'm wait. so excited That's to so see cute. Koopa. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, that's so Mission good. Accomplished, right? You know, saving the president's daughter, whatever. Mission yeah, that's Google no pets. big deal. That's what we're all here I'm for. Safe. Yeah, that's <laughs> infinitely that cool. Dog. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. You know, so I got I us here word with my dad. a real dog. You're assigned to my a real live dog. A real live dog. Oh so goodness. everybody, oh, we love Koopa. Koopa. You proved you could. This is our our sweet baby boy. I love him very much. I pet him. How many times do I have to pet him? Three. Three. Okay. And we pet him. Oh my goodness! Look at him. And we oh, I love him so much. Oh, oh my goodness. He is a he is a very sweet baby. For those who are probably wondering, he is a corgi poodle mix. Um, he's very very sweet and loving. Does he also get a treat? He does. Oh yes. You really oh, you get a best. treat, buddy. Koopa is living oh, the best life tonight. You get a treat. You wanna? Oh. You want a peanut butter? Yeah. Here, I'll break it in a. <laughs> it's like, mom, what are you trying to do? I want the full thing. Yeah, you want the whole thing? Here you go. There we go. <laughs> and puppy gets a treat. Here, Yay. I'll... I'll... <laughs> He's such a cute mister. <laughs> He's so good. There we go. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching uh, my Resident Evil 4 remake run. Uh, Bant, Mar, Kat, thank you very much for commentating. I really do appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you so, so much for being here. Uh, and thank you everybody for donating to Malala Fun. Y'all are awesome people. Those who are lurking, chatting, y'all are wonderful. And Nicole, thank you for being a wonderful host. Thank you. I was so excited to host for you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your name and I was like, yes. I we, saw your I name Nicole. and I was like, yes. But yeah, uh, if y'all want to check me out, I am twitch.tv forward slash catlink. I am currently going through learning 50 indie horror speedruns right now. It's a lot. We're on game eight right now. So uh, if you want to come check that out, definitely stop on by. Thank you very much. Have a good night, everybody. Keep watching for fear.